what is the Great Fen? The Great Fen really is a, a long-term 50-year project that's going to link Wood Walton Fen and Home Fen together to make a huge national nature reserve of about 14 square miles. And it'll be an area that's really well managed so that wildlife's going to have a safe and happy environment in which to survive and stay in. It's certainly more wildlife. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm starting to take an interest in it. I'm even going to buy myself a pair of binoculars very soon. Because we're building so many houses in the country now, um, the provision of sort of water storage in the Fen will be really useful to stop people's farms that are still farming in the area and houses from flooding. We were at capacity with the 98 flood. If we'd had the Great Fen then, we could have then flooded part of the Great Fen to alleviate the, the flood on the surrounding farmland and us. So it, it's going to create more of a safety valve if we get a lot more rain in the future. What do you think about the farming issues? Farmers will diversify and have things like cattle on there and have hay crops. So it's not totally doing away with farming, it's going to make this big mosaic of all different sort of areas. You know, if you drive through the, the farmland, it looks so wonderful and rich and for the last hundred years or so it's been great for growing crops. There's probably not any soil anywhere in the country that's any better than some of that peat soil. And it'll preserve what's there because if we keep going, keep farming, keep taking it all away, in probably 50 years time all that will be left will be fields with silt and clay and it won't be anything like the sort of quality of farming that they've had for the last few generations. And what's your involvement with the Great Fen? Uh, our involvement with the Great Fen is that we've sold the Great Fen project some land to which and now from that point on we work very closely with the Great Fen project and in restoring the land um, into an environmental area and also we do a, a lot of work for the Great Fen project now as well. We've done a lot of restoration work in drilling grass, uh, putting in culverts, putting in building ramps, building car parks, um, putting in bog oak fencing, making a lot of hay, cutting a lot of grass, doing a lot of topping. Um, we do work with our digger and all mach our machines for the Fen, Fen project as well. It's moved us into a different, moved our business into a different a different perspective really because we do a lot of work now that I didn't think we'd do 10 years ago sort of thing. The whole project is being managed very well so yeah I think long term it's going to be a really good project and very positive for, for everybody in this local community. The public will be able to uh, you know enjoy it because they'll be boating, horse riding, cycling the economic benefits as well for people perhaps will be wanting to visit in the future, sort of accommodation and places to stay and eat. And, and, and you as youngsters, if you ever want to sort of come out here, there's going to be some wonderful things for you to do with your cycles, walking, all sorts of things. Just enjoy the countryside. Get out of the classrooms, get out of the buildings and get off the PlayStation things and get out here and enjoy it. I've got a four-year-old daughter, so what you're doing now is for their benefit. She loves getting her wellies on, you know, getting out, um, getting down here. She loves coming out and help go and feed the cattle, just like I did when I was four years old, probably. Her generation hopefully will grab it with both hands and take the reins when they get a chance. Having worked all my life, really, within the Fen, um, and trying to preserve what we've got now for the future, for the future generations really, and just hope it's still here in 100 years, 200 years time. I really like it, like you go to Peterborough and it's all built up and it's a big city, but. And this is like really calm and peaceful and you can just think about your life and stuff. Yeah, it's lovely.